Good evening and welcome back. So today we are against Celta de Vigo away in the league and as you can see Castro is not starting the match for the first time in a very long time because his flashing up has finally disappeared but he's had that for quite a lengthy time so he's, he's improved very very much. He deserves a rest now though so Xerxes is going to start up top. We're going to play Martinelli on the left, Perez on the right, Vieira gets in Mariba in midfield, Vaca Lovato, Ogbonna and Emerson in defence and Mandanda is coming back in goal to give Schubert a little bit of a rest too. This is a beautiful looking stadium. Massive stadium. But yeah, it's sad in a way to see uh, Castro not being on that flashing up anymore. But obviously he'll still improve when he plays just at a, a standard rate rather than higher. But he's now overall rated 76 I believe. Um, I can't remember what rating he was when we signed him. Um, I believe it might have been 72, maybe? I can't remember. And he's already an outstanding player. I mean, he's my preferred centre forward um, above Xerxes. I mean, Xerxes is a very good player in his own right, but Castro's just got that killer instinct finish. Oof. Well, that would have been a surprise start. I thought that was going in. Nicely struck. Yeah, getting towards the tail end of uh, this calendar year. Got one more match after this in 2022 um, calendar year game-wise. Here's Maribet. So you can see, nice play. Oh, my word. What a finish from Vieira. But look at this move. Vieira starts it. Then Gedson, Mariba, nice ball in Xerxes with the flick, and Vieira smashes it in here off the post. Perfect finish. Really nice flick pass and a first time strike. What a way to get off the mark there. That's a proper team goal, but with a finish the match. And Vieira hasn't scored for a while, I don't think. But that's what he can do. You know, those outside of the box finishes or just around about the edge of the box. He's so good at those. It's something I'd like to see Kangin Lee improve on um, because he is taking that sort of Vieira role when Vieira's not playing. And he just doesn't really have the, the stats to, to do that at the moment, those finishes. Here's Martinelli. Oh, nice ball. Not really, just couldn't quite get on it. You know, Kangali is a completely different player to, to Vieira. You know, he's his, his own player. He's got some similar sort of ways of playing to Vieira. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not looking for an exact copy, but I would like to see him improve his finishing because he's, he's been in positions before where he's had really good chances and he's been just hitting them wide, hitting them over, straight at the keeper. Um... You know, we do want some goals from that attack midfielder position. And Mudra can play in that role. He can play in that central attack midfielder role. We've seen him play there. And he's played well. So, that's probably a little bit of pressure for, for Kangan Lee there. Here's Martinelli now. How is Zerg's seat? Oh, nice to play by Martinelli, but... Xerxes is going to need some support. Oh, just over again. A couple of balls that have been sort of flung into the box from out wide. Just uh, been slightly overhit. Xerxes. Ah, it's behind Martinelli that time. Good save from Schubert, brought him out. Really good save. Sexy does well to keep a hold of that. A 
little bit scrappy passing wise. Uh, what's going on here? What? What is this referee doing? I have no idea what's going on. Nice little layoff by Sixty again. He's been very good so far. <sighs> Shouldn't have said that, should I? Say that just as he misplaces a pass. Good tackle from back at. He's driving forward. Perez try to pass it, but gets tackled. What is going on here? Very scrappy. Good save from Mandanda. Did I say Schubert on the earlier save? I might have done. I don't know if I said I brought out the goalkeeper. I brought out Schubert because it's certainly not Schubert. It's Mandanda. Um, that's two crucial saves he's made. Nicely held up by Mariba. Yeah, that, the goal we scored was absolutely brilliant, but that's the only bit of real class that was shown. Oh, Marnelli. Wow. What a finish from him. He back lays it off to Marnelli, but there's no danger at the moment. He just drives in. No one's trying to tackle him. And he just smashes it past the key bet. Sorry, I kind of skipped the, the second replay there. Didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, that was a very good goal. Not very good defending, I would say. Good tackle from Perez there. Approaching half time, it's. I mean, we've been the better of the team, but Mandana's made a couple of crucial saves on the counter attacks, and quite a lot of our passes have been a bit wayward, with the odd bit of. Sort of real good play thrown in between. Perez. Lovely ball to Martinelli. Oh my god. What a. How did he get that past the keeper from that angle? It's a lovely pass from Perez. Showed a bit of strength here, and he's just again smashed it right past the keeper. Lovely weighted ball. Powered in. Great stuff. And just before half time as well. Not a bad way to potentially end the half. Could be a chance for another though. It's Perez. Zirksi. Martinelli Zirksi again. Martinelli, oh, just wide, and that's half time. And it just goes to, you to show you how stats can lie. So when I looked at the stats at half time, which I'll not show you, but shot wise, both teams had four, both had three on target, possession was nearly equal, but you would not say it's been a close game. I know Mandan has made a couple of good saves, but. You know, the chances we've created and, and scored, that the class has been very different. So that's why you can't always rely on stats. Oh, nice turn by Xerxes, and it deflects a couple of times into the keeper's arms. I'd like to see Xerxes get a goal. He's played really well today. Um, I know Martinelli's scored two, so he'll he's already looking like he's going to get man of the match. But Xerxes, Xerxes even, it's been brilliant. Martinelli, what a foul! That is a foul. Oh, well, that's not an injury because he was holding his leg there. Now Vieira 
Can he get this in? Come on, Vieira. Ah, straight the wall there. Sixy. That was behind him. Really difficult to get his head sort of neck around that. Xerxes hold up play. Just his play overall has been very good and he's being fortunate if he doesn't end up with a goal in this game. But he should still get a very high rating. I'd say he's been the best all-round player. Martinelli will certainly get man of the match the way it stands at the moment. He should be second, Xerxes. Nice play in Xerxes. Just not quite quick and strong enough defender had a little bit of a head start and that's just worked all the way through to the uh, the right winger there good block, we'll make some subs now ok so we're going to make some subs now, Xerxes unfortunately is going to go off, Mudrick's going to come on in his place and play on the left, we're going to push Martinelli up top, Bellarabi's going to come on for Carlos Perez on the right and Kanga Lee is going to come in place of Fabio Vieira like I say, sad to see Xerxes go off because he's had such a good game and he, he's obviously not going to get his goal. Um, I hope he still gets a really good rating because he deserves it. Nice play there. Martinelli now pushed in a central position. And he's already on a hat-trick. Oh, nice ball. Oh, Bellarabi just behind him. Is that penalty? Oh, Jesus Christ, man ref. <sighs> Thought I had a penalty there. Nice play to Mudrick. Back to him. Oh, just wide. Really difficult angle. Maybe should have taken a touch and then played it back across. But I saw the chance. And as you can see, I mean, I've scored from tight angles before from the you know, likes of Martinelli and, and Mudrick in other games. So it's, it, it is sometimes worth going for. I'd rather go with my instinct than think about it too much. And then uh, before you know it, the defenders are on you. Lovely play there, Bellarabi. What? <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> um. So the ball is played to Bellarabi, and just as he about to have the shot, he loses it, and he sort of takes the shot when he's already lost it, and it sort of bounces off his shin, hits the post. Um, then I'm not quite sure what happened. It gets and gets tackled, but it hits him and goes in the net. It's the post. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's going to be comical goal of the season so far. Hey, gets and gets credited with it as well, which I'm pleased for. I wonder if um, Bellarabi will get an assist for that. I don't know if it touched anyone else after he after he initially had a shot and hit the post. Um. So strange. Has felt like a bit of an odd game. Moments of brilliance from us. Moments, moments of uh, well, lots of moments of fairly average play, or sloppy passes, and that'd be a goal kick. But it's four 0 so not going to complain in the slightest. Nice play there. Oof, that's a crunch and tackle. That's definitely a yellow. Ref, that is a yellow all day. He's already played the ball. Tackle from behind. Oh, how is that not a yellow card? It could have been a red. If the referee was going to be harsh, I think yellow was about right, but... Mudrick has it. And he gets... Well, he got fouled. I don't care what the referee said, he got fouled there. 
Good tackle. Don't know where the ball is. Yeah, it's been... <laughs> I'd say sort of 70% of the game has been scrappy and then just moments of class and brilliance from us have got us the goals apart from that comical one which is just brilliant um, and, and strange but I wouldn't say our usual type of performance but that first goal was you know one of the best Flo Moose has scored in a while and the finish in, you know, in off the post always looks more satisfying Madrake now Martinelli for the hat trick and he gets pulled back there and somehow it's not a pen I was sure that was going to be a hat trick there. Oh, plays in Mudrick. 5 0. And a lovely finish as well for Mudrick. Nice play in from Kang and Lee. Little ball around the corner from Martinelli. Absolutely no hesitation from Mudrick. That means Martinelli's got an assist as well as his two goals. Dominant performance, even if we haven't been fully at our best. Which is quite scary in itself that we're, uh, we're going to win at least 5 0. Martinelli Mudrick. All wide. And they really shouldn't have shot from there. But nice play again. Nice, def a nice block there. Lee Kang in. Martinelli. Mudrick could be in again. Oh, good tackle. That was a chance for a hat trick there. Half a chance, but chance nonetheless. Is that going to be it? I think it is. And it is. Brilliant 5 0 win. Surely Martinelli, man of the match. Yeah, so we ended the game on 50 50 possession. And I've said it before possession doesn't really matter too much. It's all about what you do with the ball when you've got it and the chances you create and score. And as you can see, five goals scored from our 11 chances. Look at those stats though. Martinelli, man of the match. I knew that was going to be the case. I'm so pleased Xerxes got a really good rating because I think he was probably the best all round player in that match. And even though we went off in 60 minutes. But yeah, Vieira, Perez getting sevens. The subs came on. They did well. Mudrick especially. Brilliant all round performance from the team. And that's it for today again guys. We really appreciate you guys watching. We've got one more match in the, left in the calendar year against Real Betis. You can see that's away next time. Then we'll be into the transfer window. What regens are going to come through? Don't know yet. And we're top of the league by 9 points ahead of Real Madrid. Join me for the next match. Hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.